Welcome again to the complete free Flutter course presented by yours truly, Ovidius Mazuru. In this video, before we jump into the rest of the main content of the tutorial itself, we're going to very quickly go over some important VS Code extensions, which is going to make your development life much, much easier. Of course, you don't have to download these extensions, but I highly, highly recommend you do so. So the first thing we're going to do is hit control V if you haven't already. So that was control B. And what that's going to do is open up this sidebar. Uh, so the default is to be here in the Explorer, but we're going to go down to this one. That's the extensions. So the ones that look like some squares with one of them coming off. We're gonna click here and here you can see the ones I already have installed. Some of them are for Flutter, others are not. And let's begin installing what we need. So the first thing we're going to do is search for Dart. And the very first one that comes up here, we'll need to install this. Uh, so currently we're in version 3.12.2, but of course if you're watching this in the future, the version number might be bigger, so that's fine as well. Since we're here, you can also install Dart imports. Uh, it's gonna, it should come up automatically. This one we're not going to use anytime soon, but you know, I have it. It will save you some typing in the future. So you can also install Dart import. What this one is going to do is it's gonna organize your imports at the top of the file. So for now we won't have many, but in the future this will come in quite handy. Uh, you can see I also have Dart data class generator, but don't worry about this. We're not going to use this extension. I do use it in my own projects, but it's a more advanced thing. So don't worry about that. Next, we're going to search for Flutter. And the first one that comes up here, Flutter, is absolutely essential. This is the one that was made by Google. So make sure you install this one. And once you have that, I also think the awesome Flutter snippets are absolutely essential. So make sure you install this awesome Flutter snippets as well. This is the one by Nivash Ramdial, <laughs> or I probably butchered his name, but yeah, you can get this as well. Make sure you install it from here. Now, once you have that, I would highly recommend getting the brackets colorizer and that's going to be this one, the brackets pair colorizer two. So the first version is now a bit outdated. So we'll go to jump to the pair colorizer two, make sure you install this. What this one's going to do is color matching brackets in the same color. It's gonna change all of them so they're not all going to be white. You can see in this example, we have the purple on the outside here and the outside here. Inside we have the blue ones and further inside we have the yellow ones. In Flutter we are going to be working with brackets a lot so this is going to help you organize yourself a lot. Highly recommend this one. Another one that I highly recommend is Better Comments. If you search for that here you'll find it here. Better Comments by Aaron Bond. What this is going to do is it's going to allow you to give comments a certain color by adding something after it. For example, instead of the usual dash dash, I can use dash dash exclamation mark to give it a red color. I can use the question mark to give it a blue color. To do becomes orange. So this is going to be helpful to give yourself comments which you can just see more easily. For anybody that has worked in a larger project, you know that it's difficult to keep track of everything, especially when you get to the thousands or tens or hundreds of thousands of lines of code. So this, I think, is absolutely essential as well. And the last one I highly recommend, we're not going to use for now, but it will be useful in the future, is PubSpec Assist. So we're just going to search for that here. And it should be this one here, Pub Spec Assist by Jerome Mayher. I don't know how to say his name either. Uh, again, this is one of those extensions we're not going to use right now or in the next couple projects. 
but it is going to help your developments in the future. Uh, essentially, what this is going to do is help you download other people's other people's extensions from Dart.dev instead of having to open up the website and search for it there. You can just get those extensions directly from VS Code, search for them, and it's going to get you the latest version and make things much easier in that way. So that's actually going to be it for the ones I consider to be essential for Flutter development. You can see I do have a few others as well, but many of these are not for Flutter. Uh, for example, obviously, Go is for programming Go. Um, but yeah, these are the ones I think are essential. So with that said, for now, myself, Ovidius, I'm out.